What's up everyone and welcome back to Movie Rays. Welcome back, Grishaverse fans. We have some exciting news for you. That's right, we're bringing you the exclusive first look at season three of the hit Netflix series, Shadow and Bone, the highly anticipated third installment of the series promises to be bigger, bolder, and more action-packed than ever before. So grab your Kefta and let's dive into this thrilling sneak peek of Shadow and Bone season three. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exciting updates on Shadow and Bone. The second season of Shadow and Bone debuted on Netflix last week drawing viewers back into the complex Grishaverse. The second season of the epic fantasy series, which is based on novels by author Leigh Bardugo, features some significant plot developments and a cliffhanger that departs from the original material. Fortunately, even though viewers are still waiting for a renewal, the Grishaverse's creative team already has big ideas for the future. Continue watching to learn everything we know about a third season of Shadow and Bone. What is the plot of Shadow and Bone? The fantasy drama Shadow and Bone is based on the Leigh Bardugo book series. It centers on Alina Starkov, a teenage soldier who discovers she has magical abilities. She must utilize them to unite her planet and battle evil forces that lie in the shadows, most notably her arch rival General Kerrigan played by Ben Barnes. Has Shadow and Bone been picked up for a third season? Not yet. But this isn't the first time Netflix has delayed making a decision about Shadow and Bone. Despite the fact that season one debuted at number one in 79 countries, the renewal for season two wasn't revealed until June 2020, one two months after the show's debut. Netflix and Hollywood in general will probably wait until the ratings for season two's first 28 days on the platform are in, so we'll be on the watch for the upcoming few months. When will Shadow and Bone Season 3 premiere? Due to the series' global scope and demand for fantasy visual effects, Season 3 will undoubtedly be delayed. Seasons 1 and 2 were separated by a two-year period, although Season 2's filming didn't start until January 2022, most likely because to COVID-related delays Season 3 might premiere in late 2024 or early 2025 if it both wins a renewal and jumpstarts production. What might occur in Season 3 of Shadow and Bone? Warning! Season 2 of Shadow and Bone spoilers follow. The third and fourth Grishaverse books, Siege and Storm, Ruin and Rising, were combined into the second season of the Netflix series, ending Alina Starkov and Kirigan's conflict over the fate of Ravka. Alina shattered the fold and murdered the Darkling, subsequently burning his body after stabbing Male, also known as the Firebird, to increase her strength. She then employed Mirzost to revive Male despite Begra's warnings that the illegal magic would have an unknowable cost. The conclusion skips ahead in time a little, with a Fjerdin spy slaughtering the spectators at Nikolai Lansov's coronation after consuming Jurda Param a highly addictive substance that amplifies Grisha's abilities. Opens in new tab, Alina employs the cut to eliminate the spy by conjuring shadows rather than sunlight. It appears that she has now acquired the Darkling's abilities. The Six of Crows duology, the next volume in the Grishaverse timeline, are set up in the gory last scene. The stories center on the Crows' attempt to free shoe scientist Bo Yul Beyer from the ice court, a notoriously impenetrable Efjirdin castle. Along the journey, they release Matthias, the lover of Nina Zenik, from Hellgate Jail, bringing the six crows together. Inej Gaffa will also need to be reunited with the crew in season three, as she is now sailing with Mal, who has adopted the privateer alias Sturmhand, in search of her long lost relatives. Regarding Alina, her adoption of shadow summoning abilities marks a significant departure from the plot of the books, in which her use of all three amplifiers during her last confrontation with the Darkling renders her completely powerless and consigns her to a life of normalcy with Mal. Following the first strike of a coming Revkan F. Jadren war, Alina, 
who is hinting at a dark, limitless thirst for power, stands at Nikolai's side and the Netflix series is poised to develop an entirely new plot. The unexpected turn with Nikolai comes immediately before his coronation, when it is revealed that he has also absorbed the power of a Neshevo Ya, Kirigan's deadly, unconquerable shadow creatures. And if that weren't dramatic enough, the Darkling isn't the kind of epic villain who would stay dead for an extended period of time. You'll need to read the novels to get that information. What have the Shadow and Bone cast and crew got to say about Season 3? Eric Heiserer, a co showrunner, acknowledged in an interview with Entertainment Weekly, opens a new tab, that the show's departure from the plot of the books is in part due to the wise choice to keep stars Jesse Mee, Ai Lai, and Archie Renault actively involved in the plot rather than having them lead routine lives far from the action as they do in the books. Heiserer told the publication, This is the difference between running a show and writing a novel. You need to pay attention to who your stars are, and if they're under contract, we obviously didn't want to lose Archie or Jesse. I wanted to make sure they believed they will play significant roles in upcoming storylines. With this modification, Heiserer also affirmed that the show's long-term objective is to deliver fresh Grishaver's tales, much to how season one produced unique content for the crows that entwined their exploits with Alina's plot. Leigh Bardugo, who is an executive producer on the series and is the author of the Grishaverse, will also continue to be involved. The showrunner stated, thankfully, we're writing all new stuff for people we know, love and trust who will carry the water for us on this. The King of Scars duology, which we already like and what we anticipate will be brought to life on film from those are woven into their plot. There, it's a matter of incorporating those like we have incorporated other characters throughout the course of these first two seasons. Heiserer said to Newsweek, opens in new tab, that season 3's focus will be in part on Alina, who may have become a shadow summoner. There had to be a cost to using Merzos to bring Mail back, and we decided on what you saw for the final scene as a way for her to confront all the things Kirigan may have been warning her about, and we'll definitely touch on that where we go in the next season. That's all we have for you today, Grissiverse fans. We hope you enjoyed this exclusive first look at season 3 of Shadow and Bone. From the heart-pounding action to the epic storytelling, it's clear that this season is going to be one wild ride. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more exciting updates on Shadow and Bone, Season 3 and other upcoming Netflix originals. And don't forget to mark your calendars for the release date so you can join Alina, Mail, and the rest of the crew for another thrilling adventure. Until next time, stay tuned and keep exploring the Grishay-verse.